ripped King one. I'm sorry, Frank. I think you missed it. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 crazy technology predictions that turned out to be true. We put Madeline at the head of the table. It's Madeline, isn't it, Linda? Absolutely. For this list, we'll be looking at the predictions about future technology made by media or individuals that ended up being true years ahead of time. If there's a show, movie, or person who got today's tech right that our list got wrong, set us straight in the comments. Number 10. Self-Driving Cars – Isaac Asimov Author and scientist Isaac Asimov is perhaps most famous for his stories about robots. However, he also saw the future of vehicles. In an article on the 1964 World's Fair, Asimov made predictions on what the event would look like in 50 years. While not all of his predictions came true, he does hit surprisingly close to the mark on some, including self-driving cars. Asimov writes about cars with, quote, robot brains capable of proceeding to destinations without the need for interference from human drivers. We're still waiting on the jet-propelled cars he also predicted, though. Number 9. Smartwatch – The Jetsons When most of us think of the Jetsons, flying cars are certainly what springs to mind. And while we are on the cusp of that technology, we elected to discuss a smaller device featured on the show, a watch. Roger! Over and... Will you knock it off? Several characters in this retro-futuristic cartoon use watches that can act as two-way video phones and have a few other functions, too. What you watching? <laughs> it's the billionth rerun of the Flintstones. These days, smart watches like this are not only common, but they're also considerably more powerful, essentially acting as mini-computers on our wrists that can do everything the ones on the Jetsons can do and more. How many times have I told you... No TV in the classroom. Number 8. Earbuds, Fahrenheit 451 Ray Bradbury's dystopian book Fahrenheit 451 got a surprising number of details about the future correct. Although firemen don't go around burning books instead of stopping fires, some of the technology in the book has come to pass. One of the most seemingly minor of these is perhaps the most ubiquitous, earbuds. I mean, even if it were true, you didn't have to tell me. That was very mean. Bradbury describes characters wearing, quote, seashells on their ears, which are thimble radios that transfer sound. Unfortunately, Bradbury's nickname for the technology didn't stick, and women everywhere missed out on a chance to sell seashells down by the seashore. Number 7. Drones – Dune Given that Dune is set in a universe without complex computers and machines, you'd think that Frank Herbert's vision of the future would be anything but accurate. And yet, Herbert's game-changing sci-fi novel hit on a common technology of today, drones. I could shout for help, but it would kill whoever opened the door. In the story, a spy uses a small remote-controlled flying machine called a hunter-seeker in an assassination attempt on Paul Atreides. While the film versions typically portray the hunter-seeker as a small, flying, needle-like device, real drones are probably closer to Herbert's ornithopters, although they look significantly less like a dragonfly. Number 6. Submarines – 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea Submarines have existed in some form since at least the 1600s. However, early submarines were powered manually by human hands or heat-based piston engines. And one of the first to herald the idea of our modern conception of submarines was Jules Verne, author of the adventure novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. In the book, Captain Nemo's Nautilus surprisingly resembles submarines today and is powered by electricity. And sure, Nemo's visit to Atlantis and other fictitious undersea locales weren't quite as ahead of their time, but who knows what the future will bring. But this is incredible. Men have dreamed about such miracles. Number 5. Smartphones – La Televisión au de Dumas Many pieces of media have predicted modern telecommunication devices, but one of the most obscure is probably La Televisión en de Dumas, a French documentary short from the 1940s. This film reel imagines what the future of television would look like. Plus besoin d'acheter un journal, on se branchera sur l'émission d'information ou sur l'éditorial politique ou sur la chronique de mode. 
people in the documentary can be seen walking the streets with small, portable television screens. And while the large antennas aren't used today, they still look remarkably like smartphones. There are even all-too-familiar sights, like people stopping in the middle of the road because they're distracted by their screens. And they predicted this in 1947. Number 4. Wi-Fi and Wireless Devices – Nikola Tesla In many ways, Nikola Tesla was ahead of his time. Nikola Tesla dreams up the 20th century before it happens. His inventions may not have brought him financial success, but his ideas were decades or a century ahead of his competitors. Some of his most striking ideas were for wireless transmission. A world wireless system. A way for each of us to reach beyond our immediate sphere. Tesla hit on the ideas that basically have the same principles as modern-day Wi-Fi in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Although his experiments with transferring power wirelessly proved fruitless, Tesla still managed to make great early strides in the field of wireless transmissions that proved downright prescient of today's wireless technology. Number 3. Atomic Bomb – The World Set Free H.G. Wells is well known for his science fiction stories, but one of his most accurate ended up being one of his lesser-known works. The World Set Free envisions a world ravaged by a, quote, war to end all wars, and its publication coincided with the beginning of World War I. And the worst part of this terrible final war is its worst weapon, nuclear weapons. Although Wells's understanding of the effects of nuclear explosions isn't accurate, envisioning them as bombs that never stop exploding, he does correctly predict that nuclear weapons leave cities devastated for years after they're destroyed. Whether early nuclear scientists were influenced by Wells is a matter of debate, though. By the end of his life, Wells' warnings about the abuse of science had come true. He had foreseen the horrors of aerial warfare and the atomic bomb. Number 2. Artificial Intelligence, Tablet Computers, Video Calls, and More, 2001 A Space Odyssey if there's one movie that predicted the future the most, it's 2001 A Space Odyssey. Although interplanetary travel is still ways off, as are the bizarre cosmic events, the film still managed to correctly envision several common technologies of today. Characters use a video phone to speak face to face. Hello. How are you, Squirt? Hello. What are you doing? The astronauts watch TV on devices that look just like tablet computers. Well, I'm very glad to hear that. And I'm sure that the entire world would join me in wishing you a safe and successful voyage. While HAL 9000 may be a tad murderous, he's still essentially what most of the current AI is like. Without your space helmet, Dave, we're going to find that rather difficult. And there are still plenty more things that the movie got right. Hopefully we can live up to the potential promise displayed by humanity in the film and bring more of it to life in our own future. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. Personal Computers – Star Trek Franchise we could have done an entire list of the things Star Trek predicted. Oh wait, we have! Just a few of the things Trek was ahead of the curve on include 3D printing with replicators, universal translators, video calls, and tablets. But if we have to narrow it down to just one, Star Trek's prediction of the use of personal computers is arguably the most important. Now photograph both. When Star Trek debuted in the 1960s, Computers were much larger and more impractical than they are now. Their computing power amounted to doing basic math, and they were the size of a small room. So seeing Kirk, Spock, and the Enterprise crew work on computers the size of TVs was boldly going to the future. All you've been doing is staring at that blasted obelisk. Another calculated Vulcan risk, Doctor. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.